So here we are in Karnak. Here are the Les Elines, Les Elines Mont du Menek. Beginning of this incredible avenue of stones that stretches for two kilometers. Unfortunately, we're not allowed into the stones during the summer. But here we are. We might try and hop over the fence later. Hang on, hang on. This one there looks like a fish. Oh, this one. one there with the. Uh, it looks like you can see one eye in his mouth. I can see a face in that one there. And that one behind there it looks like a, a mythical beast with wings right at the back. Can you see that? Oh, you get that one. And this one looks like one. Well, obviously, looks like a man. Uh, over there, it looks like an owl. Behind it, behind that little one there. Got the uh, the eye and the beak of it. Okay, here we are looking down further along the avenue into the field of Kermarion. To the field of Kermarion. Here's Colette with one of the standing stones. Thinking in French. Deep in meditation. These are the stones now of Care Mario on the same line, but we've now walked from Menek all the way along. And these stones are really large. And there seem to be more more rows here than there were further up. Really extensive. Incredibly impressive array of stones. Such a different feel to either Stonehenge or Avebury. Although more in common with Avebury, some of the stones look similar, but it's such a different concept really of making a whole line, long processional way of a couple of kilometres. Almost two miles, incredible. This is the best view we've had yet of the alignments. There are ten rows here in this part. This is the Care Mario part of the alignment, and there are ten rows of stones, and it runs for about one kilometre, both in front of us here and behind over here. You can see it carrying on to the distance there. So we're just about to walk up there now. And it's my favourite bit so far. It's fantastic. Really great. And also over there. And here is Celine oh. making crepes for you. These three look particularly impressive. Let's go a bit nearer. Looked like there were the entrance, some kind of entrance. Maybe there was a, a stone on the top or something in the past. Arrangement. Yeah, we've got a bit of a vantage point now up here. You can look back where we've walked. And you can see the rows of stones. You can see the tumulus with St Michael's Chapel up in the distance. You can also see the tumulus. You can't really make it out on here. We're going to go there probably tomorrow or the next day. Right, turn around this side. You can see how it goes on. It carries on into the distance. Incredible. There's a camping site over there that we might just stay in tonight. It's nice, we haven't looked in there yet, but that could be where we sleep tonight. So this is the area of the Karnak alignments called Kerlusgan. This is at the end of the trail. 
It's the smallest and the best preserved one of the lot. There you go. It's only got 550 men in. But this is really special. Probably the one that we'll come to later tonight and hop over the fence. <laughs> okay. Can you see that one there, that face with his nose and his eyes? Wow. Big one. It's, yeah, he's got like long hair. He looks like half lion, half man.